Brian Powell of uh, I Run Far here with Killian Jornet before Transvolcania. How are you doing, Killian? Fine, here in the in the heat, in the warm, so it's, it's good for going to the beach. You like the snow, but this is a nice break after a long ski season, yes? Yeah, sure, it's like holidays now. It's, <laughs> well, it's a long winter, really cold. Last Saturday in Mezzalama, we was at minus 15 degrees. It was my fingers still like uh, <laughs> fighting now, and, and coming here, beach and running a bit, it's, it's a relaxing. Holiday, so. yeah, yeah. Um, how was your ski season this year? It was good ski season. I started with the World Cup uh, and until the World Championship with uh, perfect weather for me. Uh, it was super, super good, good shape. And, and then I, I came to Nepal for one and a half month. It was an incredible experience, really punk. Uh, we was just with 10 kilos for going to the big mountain. So it was really, yeah, it was a bit uh, hungry and a bit <laughs> cold, but it, it was super, super nice. And then Coming back from, from Nepal, I do the last World Cup in ski mountaineering in Medjalama last week. That it was a good race, so now just a good, good winter with yeah. good extreme ski too, so that's was cool. So, in, in running, as shown in, uh, in A Fine Line, the movie, um, you've crossed off many of the big races you wanted to win for running. Hmm. Um, and so you're doing some of these mountain projects. Is it the same with uh, ski mountaineering where you've competed so much on those that you're interested in going to Nepal and yeah sure that the motivation is changing and you need to and you need to to reinvent to yourself and to, to do different things all, all the time and sure that I, I keep enjoying racing in trail running or in ski mountaineering because I, I have much pleasure and I have much fun and, and sharing with the people but sure that the motivation for keeping training it's more about uh, these different projects. It's going to 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 these summits with the skis or running, but yeah, in, I need more that for for be motivated to, to to train hard. Yeah, to train hard or just to yeah to keep, uh, keep. to keep there. Uh, yeah. But you're not going to disappear from racing. No, no, sure, because it's it's a, a world that I love. I love racing. I, I love to not for the victories that maybe when I start racing it was more okay. I want to. To win the race one time and now they are a lot that they are gone so I keep enjoying the racing because because we like to just uh, we are stupid or we are matches but we, we like to, to go hard and to suffer but it's it's fun sometimes and, <laughs> and then the ambience they have a lot of friends there in the races so it's it's nice to, to see them again and, yeah what uh what races are you looking forward to most this year this year I, I want to race in in the sky running series, in, in involved in ultra running, in sky marathon, sky marathon and then in uh, in vertical kilometer. So I, I gonna try in in ultra running. I gonna do this one, Transvulcania. Then I try of Tarantes and then Europe. Mm -hmm. Then for sky running, I gonna run in in Zegama, in Mont Blanc marathon, in ultra in Switzerland and in Limone. And then vertical kilometers in Chamonix and, and in Limone, and maybe then I'm gonna see if in the Spino Greece. Okay. And you haven't uh, you haven't run vertical K as much the last couple of years, no? Yeah, I was running every year on like four or five vertical Ks. Like uh, in France, they are a lot. Every week you have a vertical K, okay. and you have a good level because they are a lot of skimos and, and cross country skiers that go there. So yeah, I I still running. I think it's yeah like. Three and less and five and maximum for the last. 10 oh, years, okay. So. I didn't know that you. I know you had yeah. run more in the past. I didn't know. Yeah, I'm running. Maybe I start when I start running. Um, when I started ski mountaineering twelve years ago, I ran some vertical case in summer, and then when I start doing sky races, so uh, six seven years ago, I I start to maybe do less vertical case, but still so much. Gotcha. Are they more low key, more relaxed in that? You're not stopping training for those. Are they sort of just casual, or do you? Mm, yeah, they are relaxed now because you push. Well, no, in the race, it's so that. hard. Yes, yeah, yeah, but it's, it's so short, and, and you can train like if you do a vertical K in the morning, you can train in the evening and the day after. You feel perfect. It's just pushing during half an hour, so it's it's good for the for the training. It, yeah. you, you don't need to, to stop or you don't need to recover after. Do you focus on trying to? take back the world record or you just this is gonna be fun uh, but then it's uh, I think 
there are not so many places that you can do the, the world record. Like, Fuji is the best one in, in Switzerland. And it's in the end of the season, uh, sometimes it's with the Diagonal de Fu or with Malaysia. This year, I think, is the week before Diagonal de Fu, so maybe I, I go to Fuji. I'm gonna see, and then Manfred's time, it's really good. He's a good friend, and, and he's really strong in this, in this vertical. But you think about it. Yeah, it's sure that uh, when you are there in, in good shape, you think, okay, I, why not to try it? And what's the record? It's just about 30 hours? Yeah, it's, I mean, 30 minutes, uh, th Yeah, 30 minutes, uh, 40 seconds, I think. Yeah, so it's, it's quite fast. It's possible to somebody to go under 30 yeah, minutes? Yeah, it's sure that it's possible to go under 30 minutes. We were talking with a lot of racers, and, and I think it's a person like uh, Urban Zemmer or, or Manfred Reckiger that they train well for Vertical K, or maybe I, if I'm in, in good shape and with perfect conditions, it, it's possible to go under 30 minutes. Nice. Well, this week it's, it's La Palma, it's Transvolcania. Um, last year you ran into some difficulty. <laughs> yeah, last year was, was hard. I, I was really not adapted to the heat. Uh, I, I'm bad in the heat always. Uh, I have low pressure uh, and, and I, I'm really bad in, in hard conditions always, but here it was exceptional, I think. For, so I, I, but I, I still enjoy a lot the race during running with Dakota and mm -hmm. the last eight guys were really hard, but still, still nice. Yeah. Have you changed anything? Have you done more running before this year? Uh, uh, I think I ran like until today six days. So it's still okay. Last, last year was two days. <laughs> two days. Before, so you it, tripled, yeah, more, yeah. Yeah, but m more than that, I, I think it doesn't matter a lot to run more or less. Mm. For the flood, yes, but in the up hills and down hills, it's still okay. But still, I stay here for one week, so I I hope it's gonna work better. Yeah. And it's a little bit uh, cooler this year. Yeah, it's a little bit colder, so and a bit windy in the in the ridges, so yeah, it would show good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, in some of your races, you you carry very little water. In the heat, have you thought? Have you yeah, tried running with more water? Or just... I need to to carry more water. I, I don't like to carry things. No, so it's, it's hard, and I need to put me in the mold to carry. But yeah, I need to carry, and, and I'm uh, I'm mentalizing to to, to okay. You, I need to carry. I need to drink water. I need to take salt. So I hope until the race, I, I'm gonna be right for that. Yeah. Who do you think uh, is going to be your biggest competition this weekend? It, it's going to be interesting because uh, they are a lot of good uh, and, and probably winners of the race. I think we are six, seven that we can fight for the victory. And everyone is in a different moment and, uh, and a different technique. I think we have like uh, Sage Canada and, and Cameron that they are really good in, in flat mm -hmm. and they are really strong. In, in this moment, they keep running for a long time and they are almost in the middle of the season. Yeah. So I think they're going to start super fast and they're going to make a s strong, um, yeah, a strong pace during the first uh, kilometers and, and they keep well the distance. I, th I think they are not really good in, in technical. So. Mm, it's this the point that maybe if we can keep with them for for long, then in technical parts we can go away. Yeah. But they still really strong. Then Timothy, he, he he's really experienced in, in long races and and in the heat too. So he's gonna fight well, and he is not a super technical drive here. It's kind of super easy. So they they gonna race well. And then we have Tony that he's good in quite good in, in technical in the downfield. So he can race well in Kavai's was a good race with him, so I think he's here. And after last year that he don't race so much, he's gonna be really motivated mm -hmm. for, for racing and for being the front. And then uh, I think one of the most competitors is gonna be Luis Alberto. Um, is nobody knows him in America because he just race uh, sky races, but is my with Marco de Gasperi, he's my best competitor for the last uh, three four years. He's really strong in in uphills, so he's really, really strong in uphills, and he's a good downhiller. He's uh, not like Marco, but but almost. And, and he was running fast in flat this year, this winter. So he's gonna be well for for the race. So he's someone to watch. Yeah, for yeah, he's one that uh, Luis Alberto really Fernando. To, yeah, really <laughs> to watch him. And then Francois, he do a good season, and uh, I think 
can be good here, like uh, Miguel Caballero too, they're gonna be boss in, in a good shape here. Do you think this course may be a little fast for Francois? Because he's mm, like the mountains or? Yeah, Francois is good in fast. He is good in, in, in maybe in the downhills, he's not this strong, but in, in running mm. fast and in, in uphills, he's very strong, so he can be good and yeah, he's in a good mood now, I think. He's relaxing and he's uh, running fast and he's doing night races, so it's gonna be well. Great. Well, I hope you have a great race out there. And yeah, I hope so. <laughs> have a good last uh, 8 or 5k, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I hope to, to keep, to, to, to be there, like, uh, yeah, hydrated or not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's great to see you back, or see yeah. you again and have you back on the trails. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. One bonus question for you. You're yeah. coming to the United States for U-Rock. Are you going yeah. to uh, stay for any time other than the race, maybe? I, I want to stay more. I, I, I need to plan a bit my schedule there, because, yeah. uh, but I want to stay more. There are some nice things to do. We were talking with Tony, we were talking with... Uh, yeah, they are nice things to do in, in, in mountains there, and I want to spend more time there. Maybe come back to Ketones, uh, maybe I, I want to go to Alaska, but probably next year, so have to stay a bit more. We hope you stay a little longer. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>